Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Lego Batman movie set, Harley Quinn Cannonball Attack, set 70921. This set comes with Harley Quinn in her uh, cannonball, in a cannonball costume. Um, you have a bat, Batgirl, Quilt Man, and Gentleman Ghost. So that's the front of the box, this is the back of the box. So this, we'll, we'll, look, at, um, we'll look at the vehicle first, because this is quite, quite a nice vehicle. The bonnet comes up and they put, put some effort into the engine. So, and the number plate, as you can see, says Harley on it. And it's just come apart, which is good news. And on the back, there's a sticker that says, I love pudding on it, as in, as in what, as in what the Joker calls her, so. So, it's, that's some nice detailing on the truck, as you can see, so it's got all the standard Harle Harlequin detailing, like all the, um, like the, the black and, the, the black and red diamond effects, hyena on the fronts, black and red diamonds all over it. So basically a big powerful truck, it's got the search lights, they put some light, lights on the side. You've got Harley Quinn who goes in the cannon. The cannon can come off as well as, as an independent unit. It's like, it's basically a, it's more basically a circus truck, so, which is, which is quite a nice figure. And if you press that with Harley, she comes off, but obviously doesn't go flying, so. Have a look at the Harley Quinn figure now. Where we go? That, there we have Harley Quinn. Lots of nice detailing on it. I'll show you the back. There's some nice detailing on the back as well. This is one of the you know, good Harley Quinn figures. It's got a cape. Got the all-in-one cape. Got two faces with the goggles and everything like that. So all the detailing, the helmet. So you can definitely tell it's Harley Quinn. So Harley Quinn will put her back on the cannon for the time being, so we don't want to lose the figure. She actually stands on there like so. Here we have Quilt Man, the doors do open. I'm not sure, I don't know too much about Quilt Man, so I won't say too much. But he does seem to have the ringmaster moustache, as I would call it, or the 30s villain moustache. So he's got all the colours on him. It's quite a nice figure. Nice detailing on the legs as well, as you can see. So he's got that evil grin. He has his helmet, the shoulder pads. Quite a nice, quite a nice figure overall, so. Stick him back in there, so we can get, so we can start get back to being in charge of the truck. We know Harley Quinn calls the shots anyway, so. There's only one good, only one good, only one one good guy in this set, and that comes in the form of Barbara Gordon as Batgirl, which this is a very good figure in my opinion because it has, she has the cape, I try she, she has the cape, the boots, detailing on the legs, lots of detailing on the legs, some detailing on the back as well. I hope you can see that. As a utility belt, I'll put a cow on so you can tell she's back woman. Has the ponytail out the back as well. And she, she comes with a Batarang and a special camera, which I presume is for dealing with Gentleman Ghost. Probably made, um, probably made, probably made for Nth, Nth Metal, got a crystal on the bottom. So some nice detailing on the camera. So probably a Batman's design. So 
There is a normal camera up on the side up here as well. Some nice detailing on here. There's like a ca cash point there. If you can see it, it says Gotham Bank. They put a little cash point in there. That's been printed, so that's, that's quite nice. You've got a lamp, street lamp on there. Stick a dynamite in there. So we'll put Batwoman up, try and put Batwoman up here. Get us to stand on here for a minute. Here we have um, some more backward, some more of the back alleys of Gotham. This time we have Gentleman Ghost on top. Uh, Gentleman Ghost is a is an, an otherworldly villain. Seems to have some marks on him, which I'm not oh, a bit weird. He does seem to have incurred some wear and tear somewhere along the line, so I'll just try and clean him up a little bit without damaging the figure. So bear with me, not very, not the most hygienic, not that hygienic, but. This is Gentleman Ghost, it's a very nice figure. I've, it's got, he's got a see-through head with a monocle. He's got some markings on him, which I, haven't, which I hadn't seen before I did this video. But I'm giving, I'm giving a bit of a wipe down anyway. I think this figure needs a wipe down. So, there we go, that's Gentleman Ghost. So I'll try and get as close up as I can, so hopefully you can see his monoc monocle. You probably won't because it's not see, because it's it's see-through, but it is there. It's got some nice detailing on the body. It does look, look, look a bit like Jack the Ripper, but I'm not sure how far that one goes, so I'm, I, won't, I won't run too far with that. So, And he's, and the main way to defeat him is Nth Metal, which so you have Gentleman Ghost up there as well. So overall, quite a good set. Some, some nice villains in it. Um, oh, oh, quite good, and you've actually got some wanted posters on here as well, which I've just noted, just noticed as well. One for um, Quilt Man and one for Gentleman Ghost, so we, so we can see the monocle. So, cool. quite a nice set, some, some nice figures in it, and... It is one of those sets, it's probably not based on anything in particular, but it's but it does have some nice as just has the, it's the, I think the figures and the the vehicle and the movement on it as well makes it makes um, makes it makes it makes it really good. So hi, hi, highly highly recommend it and and well done Lego. I hope you've enjoyed that review of this set. If you have, um, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. I'd like to thank my regular my regular subscribers. Soundwave Man, Blocky Talkie, Captain Redbeard, and, and all the others. If I missed you, please feel free to um, leave a message at the end of the video, and I'll try and get try and get in my next video. Again, thank you for watching. Um, keep building and stay safe.